Secret sauce, baby. Trying to get this uh, cycle. Got to cycle my tank. What? <laughs> you done lost your mind. Are you listening? Damn. guys well I'm gonna have multiple ways cycling a marine aquarium <laughs> anyway guys cycling a marine aquarium using Dr. Tim's one and only a lot of you guys you know I, I put out a video asking you guys what should I do what should I use should I use continue to use live rock put some live rock in no live rock whatever I put a little post on Instagram, excuse me, I'm a little under the weather, um, put, a, put a thing on Instagram, did a poll, and it was really a race. Um, it was kind of, I felt really split. But with that being said, how am I going to help others dealing with issues that are doing straight dry rock? Using this beast as a tool to help other people out, meaning experimenting with this tank. Not to the point where I'm going to be hurting fish or corals. That's why we're doing a fishless cycle. And how are you going to have to do a fishless cycle? Um, you can do it with some bacteria in a bottle, throwing in fish food, basically ghost feeding, um, or, you know, shrimp, piece of shrimp the whole nine yards. Now, will those methods work? Yes, but those those methods could also potentially cause you problems down the road. Now, don't take my word for any of this. Do some research and figure out what you think is right for you. You don't have to do things the way I'm doing. But I'm not going to do fish like we've done in the old days, and I'm not going to put one piece of live rock in here. So, what you do have to do when using bacteria, though, is remove your filter socks, remove your protein skimmer, or turn it off. Um, UV, multiple different things. You want to make sure that nothing's going to um, pull your bacteria that you're spending money on back out the system. So, you want to take all those things off for about 48 hours. Give time for the... Um, beneficial bacteria to settle down on the hard substrates, your gravel, live rock, the whole nine yards. Um, that's what you want to do. And then you're going to want to potentially feed the system every, you know, a couple times a week and make sure you don't, uh, you will definitely need test kits, by the way, for ammonia, nitrite, nitrate. You definitely need those on hand. I do have an API from another YouTuber we went and picked up for what the wife's tank. Um, but I'm going to be using Dr. Temp's ammonia. So I will be feeding very light ammonia. Don't want to overdo it with ammonia. It will cause you some problems. Dr. Temp's, you can put as much bacteria in that you want. This system requires about four bottles. I ended up with three. Um, it's not cheap. I'll be 110% honest with you. It's not cheap at all. So we're going to go ahead and start pouring in these bottles. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. But also, while you guys are watching this, once again, I apologize. I really, really feel um, I got the shakes. I got the chills. Um, I'm really under the weather, but I know I need to get these videos out, keep pumping these videos out to you. But what I want to know is, has anybody else done a fishless cycling um, on their aquarium? What was your side effects on that? That's what I really want to know. Have you used Dr. Tim's and Dr. Tim's ammonia chloride? Um, that's uh, another thing that I want to, um, want to know. And what did you notice from it? Now, I will be monitoring this system every day, every couple days, checking on it, making sure that it's not getting um, going up past five. 
milliliter parts per million or whatever on the test kit. I will make sure that everything is looking fine. I will be very generous. I have two bottles of this for a later date if I need to continue to feed. Um, depending on how long I want to keep this system without any fish and just really give it 110% of just growing the heck out of beneficial bacteria. I don't have any live rocks that's going to give me that. This is going to be a pretty sterile system. So let me know down in the comments. But let's get these open and let's get these bottles poured in here. But before we pull in, uh, pour in the beneficial bacteria. I do have to remove this. I put the filter socks in so all the you know the brilliant stuff that's coming off the dry rock would get filter in here. These filter socks are actually quite nasty. So let's get these out of here. They do need a wash anyway. So we'll get these out. Give them a good bath, straight water, a little bit of bleach should work just fine. Don't, not too much though, I, I don't trust it. These are seven inch filter socks if you guys are wondering. We need to get these out though. The protein skimmer up there is totally offline as well. I'm actually pumping water now. The water just kicked in, kicked on, topping off because I am pulling water. I will have to double check my uh, salinity at some point. But we got the filter socks out. Now let's go pour, pour in the beneficial bacteria. I'm thinking about pouring some in here, but I don't know. It's probably will just come in here regardless. So let's go do that. Okay everyone, now that we done got the filter socks off, protein skimmers offline, now it's time to birth this system. And what I mean by today is going to be its birthday. So this is the first form of life. We do need to shake these bottles up. This is going to be the first signs of life to the system. Now, I will be documenting this. I will give you guys my honest view on this. I think this stuff uh, will work. I've used it by itself, not quite doing it this way. Um, so, this is my first way, first time of um, doing it this way. Now, it's really not different from other ways. I'm just using ammonia straight out of a bottle versus decaying food or live rock. In it. So let's see how this stuff looks. We'll keep track, see if we kind of get any blooms. I know it will be cloudy. How cloudy? Don't know. I want to make sure I'm shaking these things up really good. It's time to wake up. Also, guys, real quick to let you know, there are expiration dates. This is best um, by November 2019. Cheers, guys. Put a little bit of water in there. Get it off. Might as well get all your money's worth out of these bottles. These bottles are not cheap. This is the 16 ounce bottle. Um, if you guys used Dr. Tim before, not cheap at all. So, there we go guys. I'm really excited to be throwing bacteria in. Uh, it's just time to uh, feed the system as well. So real quick, basically, just give you guys some heads up. I'm sure you can read it on your own. Just shake before use. Best to use entire container at one time. Minimum dose, 10 
milliliters, one cap per 10 gallons cannot be overdosed. Just so you guys, I'm sure you guys probably would have asked that. Also make sure you turn off UV, ozone skimmer, remove filter socks for 48 hours, keep refrigerated for longer lasting shelf life. So um, using when set, uh, setting up new aquariums after water change, and disease treatment to quickly establish natural biologic filtration. So, it's very short and sweet directions. So, I'm sure this will be just fine. This is exciting, guys. This is really exciting. Even though I feel like crap, I think this is great for you guys that are new to the channel watching. This is here to let you guys know what's going to work, what's not going to work, or how it's going to work. If it does work, what's the pros and cons? That's what this channel is about, to help you guys become better reefers. Get a little bit of water. Get it in here. Now, one thing I probably will definitely be um, doing is making sure that I get my uh, heat turned up. I want, to, I want to crank my heat to about 80 degrees, 82 degrees. Bacteria is going to drive. Things are going to happen a lot faster the warmer the water is. Now, that's just logical sense to me. Um, period. You go to the hospital, they keep it pretty cold. You go in the surgery room, they keep it pretty cold. Why? For germs, for bacteria. Bacteria doesn't do well in cold. So... There we go. Cheers, guys. Last bottle. Oh, my. Look at that. Woo. -hoo. We are officially full of beneficial bacteria. This is totally awesome, guys. We're bringing the tank to life now. We've got to this point. You guys haven't seen the beginnings of this. Please make sure you go through my playlist and check out how this even began. I think you're going to learn from every video something new to help you out on your adventure in marine aquarium, keeping marine aquariums. So we're going to do that. I will be adding ammonia um, in a little bit, but I don't want this video to be too long. As you guys see, yes, the water is actually a little bit uh, cloudy. That is perfectly normal. You're adding bacteria, we're going to give it time to settle out. You can keep your weight pumps and all that on. It's going to settle to the bottom. Sand bed and stuff like that. That's another reason why I chose sand because it's just more surface area for beneficial bacteria to grow and colonize. It has to have hard surfaces um, to do that. Um, I think you can still do, you know, obviously, you know, no sand, but I want the most of beneficial bacteria I can have in the system, um, period, as you guys already know. And plus it doesn't look natural to me. So with that guys being said, hopefully you guys like. Also, if you guys have ever used Dr. Tim's one and only and doing a fishless cycle using ammonia chloride, let me know down in the, in the comment section, let me know what your experience was. How long did you actually a lot kept cycling your tank or allowed your tank to cycle and then how long before you start adding fish did you continue to just go and just constantly just feed the tank um, here and there a couple times a week ammonia just to let the bacteria continue to do its thing because that is one thing if you made it this far in the video that is one thing that I'm truly thinking about doing I'm thinking about actually holding off for about four months and allow just me just go feed the tank and get my bacteria levels as if it can, I pulled a piece of live rock out of the ocean that's been there for hundreds of years. I want to have the best beneficial bacteria, the most, should I say, beneficial bacteria colonized in this system before I get into other things. I think it's going to help me out a lot, tremendous. I think it's going to um, keep away all kinds of allergies and stuff like that if I just be patient. This hobby is not for um, impatient people. This hobby is for those that um, want to develop patience. This will help you with patience. Nothing good happens fast in an aquarium, so therefore, 
this is the way I'm going to do it. Let me know down below. Have you used either one of the products and what was your results? And with that said, this is Rico, Rico's Aquarium. So next time, peace.